All right, so I'm gonna try something completely different today. What better way to do this construction update since it's all about footers for the station and lift hill than for an amateur to describe how footers are done on a roller coaster. Um, so yes, I know nothing about terminology um, <laughs> for construction. Um, and I obviously don't know much about um, the actual process, but from what I'm seeing on the construction site, I'm gonna describe it. And uh, if it's right, it's right. And if it's wrong, drag me in the comments down below, especially anyone in construction. Feel free to completely drag me because it's fair game with me attempting to do this. So here is what they're trying to build um, at Wonderland right now. It's like the pre-lift area, as you see. So normally there's always the planning phase and then you get like these planning documents. Let's call them blueprints. Um, I have a feeling I'm already screwing up. Um, but you know what? I think this could be fun and a really funny segment. Uh, me doing how to's on uh, the construction projects for these coasters at Carowinds, Canada's Wonderland and others. Um, so then you get these blueprints and these planning documents and these people read them <laughs> and then they take action on them and they build what they need to build to get these <laughs> footers um, in the ground uh, and ready to, I guess, support our coaster coming in 2019. <laughs> So these rebar cages are then lifted into place, um, built by the construction workers. <laughs> I don't know how, but they're built. And then <laughs> they're formed into the shapes necessary for the structure that's going to be poured. So for example, the tunnel ones were like rectangular um, <laughs> and tall and uh, then supported by wood and they poured cement in between two panels of wood and then dried and then they would remove the wood paneling, which you're gonna see later on in this video. Um, <laughs> I'm totally screwing up right now and I'm loving it. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this and understand this is, this is just for fun and to be funny. Um, I'm not trying to be serious here. Um, so then they form these rebar, this rebar into rebar cages, which then help the cement dry. Um, and then they build these wood forms. So what you're seeing here is them building their circular wood forms to put these put concrete, okay? That should be right, because lots of people correct me. So for the first time ever, I'm saying it right. They're gonna pour concrete into these molds, which will then dry. And sometimes that could take up to 28 days for a roller coaster. I know that's right too. It's like, I think I'm off to a good start here. And then after 28 days, they can do whatever they need to do. So they can put the support beam on it if they wish to. They can do vertical construction in any form. So here they are building a really large um, formation for the footers. These are the turn out of the station, whether it be a dip or turn. They lead towards the lift hill just behind that footer there. So um, they got about three to four formations done in my visit today, um, and it looks like concrete, I almost said cement, concrete will be poured into these formations probably within the next three to four days if I had to guess. It looks like they still have a bit of work to do. Um, I do know the, um, so as you can see here, the, the, this, I, I was so happy I was here today because this is cool watching them do this kind of stuff. I've never seen this like in detail before in other coaster construction projects. So I really hope you guys enjoy this footage, even though it's not like, you know, vertical construction. I know you guys are all like dying for that. Um, and these are getting quite boring, which is why I'm trying to take a unique like twist on these construction updates. I know I have some Carowinds construction updates coming, so stay tuned for those as well. Um, so as you can see, they have one ready to go and lift into place. That's going to be, it looks like there's going to be two or three of these in the lift hill area, which is pretty cool. That's, a, that's, it's going to be very well supported in that area. Let me just say that. And then one will go in that hole there. Um, and that is the first part where the track will turn out of the station. Um, the interesting thing about the station and just to, to discuss this a little bit, um, and again, this part I have no idea about um, is whether it'll be a dual loading station. And um, I think that's an interesting topic of discussion because Canada's Wonderland could really benefit from a dual loading station. And if this coaster, I mean, they're bringing UCC Dreamscapes in to do this project. For those of you that don't know, I don't think I talked about it a lot in my video yesterday because there was so much to talk about. UCC Dreamscapes is responsible for a lot of Universal Studios and Disney World resorts. Um, they're responsible for the Air Canada Centre and they're responsible for a lot of big projects. So, in my opinion, this has a really um, 
intensive uh, theming project written all over it. And I'm excited to see what they're here and why they're here. This is a very expensive company to hire. And I know in previous years and with Cedar Fair, they don't always pick the most expensive people. Sometimes they'll go with like, you know, the local cheaper guy which is smart and it also helps the local economy they operate in so not trying to insult them in any way but they picked a really renowned company for this project and that is super exciting and i'm really excited to see what they have in store for this project so um that brings up like the conversation of if it's going to be that well themed is there going to be a pre-show is there going to be an end show are there going to be four trains are we going to see for the first time in a while um, four trains on a B&M coaster. Um, and Canada's Wonderland is a great park to try that out on. It has um, a very large attendance for a very short operating season. And that attendance number is only going to grow with a hotel extending the operating season with Winterfest and um, adding a massive new attraction. For example, if it's a wing coaster or a dive coaster, that's going to boost attendance greatly. And I have a feeling this has world records written all over it. Um, again, I'm gonna do my research, I'm gonna dive into things, um, and I'm, I'm going to figure out more information about this and present it as I learn it. So um, I do know that construction, again, as I said yesterday, stopped on the north side. They're doing the station area. They're definitely getting the lift hill ready and the um, support beams ready, which is another interesting conversation. When are we going to start seeing track arrive? If I believe, and correct me down below if I'm wrong, we saw vertical construction starting in mid-July for Leviathan. Fingers crossed that I'm correct on that. Again, feel free to drag me down below. Um, yeah, so... It's very interesting. So again, they make these wood formations. I guess I got off topic there for a bit. I was talking about UCC Dreamscapes because I'm, I'm like literally fangirling over them being here after seeing what they're responsible for. Um, they lift these um, wood formations in on top of the um, rebar cages that they formed for the base of the uh, cement formation that they'll pour concrete in to form the cement for, um, formation. Um, as you can see, a rebar cage back there fully completed, and that's probably gonna fit into one of these circular round things. And then in a bit, you're gonna see the actual part where the support connects to, um, ready to go in as well. Um, so it was really cool to see all this. And at the end, I didn't get it on footage, I saw the actual kind of like weird object. If you've seen in the center of the footers on this coaster project, they all have this weird um, kind of like hole in them. Well, I saw them building what they like used to make that, and it was really cool. So um, I'm trying to think of what I was getting an angle. Oh, so yeah, you see the stationary, and you can see that sitting in there. It's very large footer. It actually might be the new largest one. There's the blueprints, my favorite little thing. Yay, you're my best friend now. <laughs> um, I guess I'm just teasing you guys a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's really exciting what's happening. Um, I think Canada's Wonderland's in for a very large project. This has started super early. Um, and for those of you saying it's because of winter, I mean, half of this project has taken place over winter just fine. They built a whole tunnel underwater and ground through winter. So they'll be just fine. I have a feeling there's much larger aspects to this coaster that aren't yet revealed in this construction project. So these are what I was talking about. Um, these will be the actual things that, you know, go into the cement or concrete and then are connecting to the supports, which should be arriving shortly if I had to take a guess. Anyways, um, hopefully you enjoyed this amateur explanation of a construction project for a coaster. Um, give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, um, and share this please. And again, don't forget to check out Patreon if you're super invested in this project. I have a lot of unique content. Thanks guys, have a good one.